Hey there, Karthi here with Devil Lab, and in this video, we are going to walk through on how to use the Customer Settings API in your Alexa skill. So, the Customer Settings API is responsible for getting the user's time zone, their distance measurement unit like miles or kilometers, and their temperature measurement unit, which would be like Fahrenheit or Celsius. Now, this is something that the user can set in their companion app. And this could be useful for something as simple as when you want to greet the user good morning or evening based on their time zone. Or say you wanted to tell them how much distance they have run today in their chosen metric. So let's get started. As usual, we'll be using a template from skilltemplates.com which has a collection of templates for you to get started with Alexa development. Also shout out to Ashish Jha and Ashwin Sathwane who have built this skill for us. So we are going to go inside the terminal and just type in here ask new template followed by the URL which would be skilltemplates.com slash templates.json. Now once we press enter it's going to ask us uh, which template we would like to choose. We are going to choose the customer settings API starter here and press enter. Once I press enter, it's going to initialize the skill from the chosen template and clone the entire code on my machine. Now I'll just open up sublime text here and you can see that um, this customer settings API starter has been cloned onto my machine here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to the terminal here and let's check out a demo of this uh, skill and uh, see how this works. I'm just going to go inside the folder and do an ask deploy which would deploy the skill. Now I'm going to fast forward to the skill being deployed. Alright so now that the skill has been deployed let's go ahead and test it out. But for this purpose demo purposes we won't be able to test it out on the simulator because it's not working there. So you will have to try it out with your Alexa device. So let's go ahead and test it out. Alexa Open customer settings. Hello there. Welcome to Alexa. You can say greet me. Greet me. Your local time is 4.14 p.m. Good evening. Right. So you can see that Alexa took out my local time you based on my time zone and then it wished me good evening. Now let's try one more time. Alexa, open customer settings. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa. Open customer settings. Hello there. Welcome to Alexa. You can say greet me. Distance unit. Your measurement unit is metric. So now you can see Alexa is returning the measurement unit. Uh, let's try this one more time. Alexa. Open customer settings. Alexa. Open customer settings. Hello there. Welcome to Alexa. You can say greet me. Temperature unit. Your measurement unit is Celsius. Right. So you can see that Alexa just responded back with the temperature unit. So now let's just jump into the code here and see how all of this works. So this is the code here and you can see here there's this index.js file. And in, in this index.js file, you can see here there's this greet me intent handler and this greet me intent handler is where the code for the system time zone getting the user's time zone is written and what we would do here is uh, we just got the user's device id uh, using the request envelope which is request envelope dot context dot system dot device we got the device id and then after that we created a variable called as UPS service client which has the service client factory reference so service client factory dot get UPS service client and then finally we have written here the user time zone and to get the user's time zone you would have to write in here UPS service client dot get system time zone and when you are getting the system's time zone you have to pass the device ID along with along with this method and once you get the user's time zone what you can do with that is now using a very good JavaScript library called as the moment JS library. You can get the UTC time and then match it with the user's time zone and then 
speak out the local time so this is one way how you can get the user's time zone and then based on the user's time zone you can calculate which kind of greeting you would want to wish them like would you want to wish them good morning or afternoon or evening so all that logic is written here inside this calculate greeting now apart from that we also saw how to get the user's metric as well as the time zone uh, as well as the temperature the code for that is here in this intent which is the get distance measurement unit handler so it's almost the same as what we did for the time zone stuff but the only difference that you see here is that you have to do something like get system distance units and pass the device id now of course if there might be some cases when the user may not have set it up uh, in cases like that you can uh, just make sure that you are handling it by giving a generic error message which says something like it looks like you don't have your distance measurement unit set you can set it from the companion app something like that now once you do that next thing uh, we will go into is the temperature measurement unit handler which is almost the same again uh, just this time you have to call the get system temperature unit and pass the device id now using these three methods you can get the user's time zone the user's distance measurement metrics and the system's temperature uh, the system temperature unit from the user now once you've got that you can use that for a lot of purposes like we talked some time back maybe you wanted to show how many runs they have run how many distance they have covered in today's run and you would want to show that in their distance metric or what is the weather today in fahrenheit or celsius now that is what the customer settings api would be useful for so that's all about the code if you found this video helpful please like it and subscribe to the dabble lab youtube channel if you have any queries about this please leave a comment and we will get back to you Again, all of this code is available at skilltemplates.com. Thank you.